Good morning, everybody. It's Pastor Mark McDonald with First United Methodist Church. This last Sunday, I preached a sermon, as you recall, called, Was It Worth It? And it is asking the question of if we're able to look back on our lives and say that it was worth it. I've been thinking about that this week because Sunday I had the chance to go to an ordination service, a very unusual one, because the pastor who was being ordained had come down with the COVID virus and missed the full ordination service. Our bishop drove to Huntsville, Arkansas to ordain him personally. Beautiful service, a wonderful sermon that he delivered where he said, when you're at your toughest times in your ministry or in your life, it's going back to your call that helps you get through it. Now, I know he was preaching that to somebody of being ordained an elder in the United Methodist Church, and I certainly have shared my call story about being called into ministry, but I also know that every single Christian has a call story. You don't have to be a pastor or a minister to be called into ministry. All of us have some way that God reached out to us. And so I've been thinking this week about my call story. I've shared it with my brother. He shared his with me, and, and I started hearing other people. I had somebody I met for breakfast that shared part of the reason that he lived his life. Others have said why they think their life is worth it. It's been so enjoyable to hear people talking about their call. So I want you today to think about how God called you. You don't have to be called to be a pastor or a missionary to have a call from God. It could have come through a person. It could have come through something different. Think of Abraham's call when God spoke to him and said, I want you to go that way. I'm going to give you so much. Just head out. Just leave everything you had. Or Jonah, Jonah who ran from God. He said, God told him to do something. He said, sure, and then ran the other way. Or the prophet Isaiah, in the sixth chapter of Isaiah, he tells his story, and it clearly is him sitting in a worship service and hearing God call out to him to be the prophet. Jacob, who I re, re, uh, relate to the most, Jacob's call is about wrestling with an angel, wrestling with God, and being injured from it. Mary, the mother of Jesus, her call came from a visit from the angel that just said, here's what's going to happen for you. <laughs> or Paul, the, the Apostle Paul, who was tormenting Christians and then was blinded, and God said, why are you doing this? What is it in your call story? Today, as you move through your day, I want you to ask yourself, what is it that I recall from God's call in my life? Don't get caught up on doing some churchy story with it. Just remember where it started. If you're like me, you have several points in your life where your call is begun or it is changed or perfected or moved. How is God calling you? And when things get tough, like they seem to be for a lot of us these days, go back to that call. Tell the story to somebody that you trust. Say it out loud to yourself. Pray it to God. And watch what happens as we renew ourselves in the God who has called us to love God, love others, and serve the world. May your day be blessed and hashtag be a blessing.